Welcome back everyone to another video today. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you three very easy steps that will help all beginners out there go from zero to $1,000 a day in revenue for your Shopify business. Now, this is a very achievable goal. For those of you who are just starting out, I completely understand $1,000 a day might actually seem almost impossible. I had this mindset before I got there many, many years ago. People I speak to, you know, they struggle just to get a single order on their Shopify store. But in this video, I'm gonna be sharing, like I said, said three easy steps very cost efficient steps so you're not going to be blowing money away on how to get this business of yours off the ground start to see profitable results as well and these three steps they're still things I use in my business today at scale but I'm going to be sharing the relevant information to you sort of beginner lower level so you guys can gain some traction get some consistency and start to see daily profitable results for your Shopify store now if you are watching this like I said at the start it's likely you are a beginner or you're struggling struggling with your business to get it off the ground on Shopify but if you don't actually have a Shopify store yet, I'm actually partnered with Shopify and you can use the link in the description to get a free trial. So if you are a beginner and you are looking to open a Shopify account, make sure you use my link in the description. You get your first month for one pound or one dollar and you can earn up to an extra $10,000 in credits towards your Shopify subscription. You can see on your screen, basically 1% of every sale you generate will then go towards this bonus for your Shopify subscription. So hopefully with the tips in these videos, you should also be able to save yourself some money on your future Shopify subscription. Every penny counts and especially leading into Q4. This is very good and a great bonus for you guys starting out as well. So step number one, very easy, very straightforward. It is going to be spend some time focusing on the appearance of your website. Now, I know I've said this before, but the amount of people that message me with incredibly spammy is probably the right word looking at Shopify stores that have been made in 10 minutes. They look horrible. And I always ask myself and tell these people, you know, if you were a customer visiting this website, would you buy from it? Would you trust it? And if the answer is no, and you need to be honest with yourself, if the answer is no, then serious work is needed. Now, I'm going to list out a few different things that you could use to enhance the look of your website and I'm not necessarily just talking about the layout and the theme using a paid Shopify theme for example doesn't solve this issue because you could still make it look absolutely terrible so number one product reviews a great way to build trust with people visiting your site for the first time or anyone who has come back and they are considering to purchase product reviews are incredibly important Amazon is built off good product reviews and it is no different for a successful Shopify store there are many tools out there you can use looks reviews that's what I personally use I'll leave a link to them in the description down below this will allow you if you're drop shipping to import reviews from Aliexpress to your product page but this is something you want to manage sort of with a bit of care because again I see people bulk import hundreds of reviews from Aliexpress and obviously most Aliexpress reviews are from foreign countries so the language in them is in English and then when they're published to your store the translation is just absolutely terrible and that again doesn't look great and will actually deter people and make them lose trust so you don't need hundreds of reviews per product even just 10 is a great starting point and just making sure they are sort of high quality reviews not every review needs an image as well so please do bear that in mind or if you have an existing customer base start reaching out to your customers and ask them to leave reviews for you it's a great way to like I said build trust you can then start to bring existing customers back there's so many things you can do with reviews to not only just increase your seller ratings on other websites as well but it's a great way to bring customers back make them repeat customers but yeah I've made whole videos on customer reviews before so another thing in this section is going to be high quality product images using Aliexpress 480p blurry images is not going to cut it anymore it's not 2016 anymore order the product yourself if you have to take high quality pictures if you have to drive to a nice location you know nice surroundings to take pictures of your product in real life just taking a picture of a product on your desk again can work depending on the product but you know it's always good to get a variety of different shots with your product or if you have a relationship with your fulfillment agent if you use one like I do I simply request new content from them on a monthly basis and thankfully we've got a great relationship with the suppliers we work with and they provide free content for my products which is incredibly handy and I'm sure a lot of you will get to that point anyway now I'm just going to quickly mention two more things for this section of the video another one is going to be just a nicely laid out product page a lot of people focus a lot on their home pages for me anyway 
five percent of my traffic reaches and looks at my home pages the other 95 percent won't ever see the home page and that's because all of my ads are directed to either collection pages or product pages people don't have any interest in landing on a product page and then going back to the home page they've clicked on a link for a specific product they want to look at that product and maybe a collection related to that product so stop wasting all your time on fancy home pages focus 95 percent of your attention and time onto a good looking product page make sure to include things like an faq section your returns policy shipping policy be transparent because that's what customers are looking for you know some people still just copy and paste an aliexpress description that is not it some people use ai generated descriptions yes that can be good for portions i use ai usually for the start of my product descriptions but if you just copy and paste you know a couple of paragraphs in a few bullet points from an ai tool there are still things that you can add to improve it like i said faq section additional product images in the description so don't be lazy go all out with how your product page looks and the information it's giving to people and finally it's going to be only relevant if you've got a vast catalog of products which many people probably do watching this video and that is to have a prominent search bar on your website that's going to be visible at all times no matter if people scroll down on their mobile you want to have a search bar that can be clicked and used at all times most shopify themes by default just have a little search icon hidden in the top right hand corner of the announcement bar trust me this is something i've invested in heavily recently i've worked with one of the best cro agencies in the space and we've invested heavily in you know producing and adding a very very high quality search bar to my business and a very interesting fact they told me is that a customer who uses the search bar on your website is 33 percent more likely to convert than someone who doesn't so people who use a search bar the intents there they are much more likely to purchase from you there are plenty of shopify apps for this just go on the app store and shopify and find a search bar app and this is one of those things i'm sort of kicking myself out that i wish i did two three years ago but it's definitely something you know better late than never definitely get this implemented if you have i would say at least 50 products on your website now step number two apologies the first step dragged on quite a bit but anyway step number two is going to be pick one marketing channel and stick with it your aim is to get to a thousand dollars a day you're not going to go from zero to 10 20 30k a day straight away little steps at a time pick one marketing channel stick with it you don't want to be doing tiktok facebook and google all at the same time spreading your budget very thin pick one put all your budget into that and then as you scale you can bring more channels into the mix it's exactly what i did now there's no right or wrong answer here about which channel to pick i'm no tiktok expert my expertise is in google ads and facebook so i would definitely pick one of the two if you've got quirky products you know that would do very well with visual representation on like a video ad say then i would definitely suggest facebook ads because obviously you can get those messages across better with video ads whereas google if you're selling products that have demand all year round aren't necessarily eye-catching and trending but people always need and want i would go with google ads now very quickly i've done beginner friendly videos for google ads and facebook you can find them on my channel but as we are talking about them i'm going to quickly give an overview for how i would structure you know a new ad account on both platforms so google simply i would go with one standard shopping campaign put all your products into it maximize clicks bid strategy and put a bid cap on it if you don't get many impressions slowly raise the bid cap if you're using google for the first time then it will take a few days for impressions to gain momentum so don't start with a ridiculously high max cpc just give it time with google that is all i can say about that alongside this i would have a branded search campaign four or five pound a day and again i've got dedicated videos on how to set up brand search campaigns on google the beauty with google you can test all your products at once whereas with facebook ads i would pick one maybe two products to start with and test now my facebook strategy often changes over time currently as we speak i currently have one cbo per product and that is the exact strategy i would use on a new account because my account for my business is full of data and you know many many years old i can use broad targeting without any interests whereas if you're starting brand new i probably would recommend testing a few interest-based ad groups as well as broad at the same time and then simply rinse and repeat if a product doesn't work kill it don't get emotionally attached to it move on to the next one after you know 250 300 pound or dollars testing budget if you want a more in-depth guide on either google or facebook like i said plenty of videos on the channel for that anyway moving on to point number three and this is going to be leading on from my previous video that if you haven't watched and you're watching this one i highly highly recommend you go back and watch this and that is because of methods you can use to increase your organic reach within google and what this means is increasing the likelihood of you getting traffic without having to pay for it and then obviously the goal is this free organic traffic will get you sales that you're not having to pay any customer acquisition costs 
Amazon because it's completely free. And the gist of this is essentially just giving Google more keywords related to your product in the bottom section of your product editor. This over time, it's a slow process, but this over time will gradually increase the reach of your product without advertising them. And another method I've preached about to get free traffic to your store is the Instagram affiliate method. Again, I've got a dedicated video on this. This is essentially you building out your own affiliate network for your business. You offer people good incentives to promote your products and in return they get you know gift vouchers free items for promoting your business now this is something that worked incredibly well for me back in 2018 to sort of 2021 i'd imagine this would still work extremely well today because this is kind of what tiktok shop is turning into people promoting products for commission etc but instead of doing it on a platform like tiktok you can do it through instagram youtube facebook anything like that just reach out to anyone who you believe is your target audience they don't have to have tens of thousands of followers they might have 500 followers but if you give them enough incentive to promote your business they perhaps could place an order from you to begin with you know to promote your item if they know they're going to get a return from it. So wrapping up point number three, that's going to be not just focus your attention on paid traffic, use your time wisely, put some time into your organic SEO for Google, because in the long run, this will pay dividends. And you know, like I showed in my last video, on average, this generates an extra 40 to $50,000 a month revenue for my business every sort of three months or so, a good 10 to 20K a month from free organic Google traffic. And if you're really tight on a budget, I would definitely recommend the affiliate network method. Like I said, it's free it's not going to cost you any money at all it will just be a bit of boring manual labor to reach out to a bunch of people every day but once you get the ball rolling you can hire some upwork or fiverr freelancers to you know expand your network and reach out to more people as well and do that boring outreach for you but the whole goal here for this video is to get to that thousand dollars a day mark once you're there you should be able to remain consistent and then focus on the next steps and that would be involving improving fulfillment customer experience better product quality branded packaging it would include include methods of scaling your paid channels like Google and Facebook. But please remember, one thing at a time, don't rush into things, little baby steps. If you're just starting out now, there's no need to be, you know, wanting to rush to 10K a day. Just get to that first stage, get to that first 1K a day. Because if you put the effort into it, trust me, it is very, very possible. I've done it. I've seen many people I work with do it as well. So I hope you found this video useful. If you have, smash the like button down below. Subscribe if you are new. If you've got any other questions, I mean, feel free to DM me on Instagram. That'll be in the description below as well. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.